What is going on guys? It's your boy Lou. We've got Wine Wednesdays for you again. Uh, Lou is perched today. Today we have the... Domaine Grand Bonheur, Les Champs de Vin, Côte du Rhône 2015. This wine... Maybe I'll drink it. This wine here... It's... It's very good. Uh, it's a 70% Ganesh. 20% Sar Saria and 10% more de beer. And the label is pretty cool. It's got like this nice I can see that symbol there. Super sick. Uh it's my take me longer than I thought. I'm getting stressed out. You the twist twist, the twist twist. Ah, what the sound? This cork is kind of cool. Let me pull back a little bit, get it in focus. Any second now. Twenty minutes later. It's pretty cool. This little yeah, the attention to detail is nice. Uh, I don't know everything about quirks. There may be this, this number here that I think you saw 17 point or 8 might actually have some value. And another good thing to remember is that um, wines like these should be stored at cellar temperature, which isn't like a refrigeration temperature. So um, the way I'd say is it should be stored around like, mm, he was playing with the cork, uh, it should be stored around 55 degrees if I get that right. Uh, it's 55 degrees at cellar temperature. Um, so what you want to do is you want to quickly like just dump this into your uh, fridge. I'd say 10-15 minutes later, boom, there you go. End up with a perfect, nice swishing action we have here. Rotation. It's, it's pretty fairly dark, but it's not too dark. It's um, Smells good. Um, has a very earthy kind of feel to it. Very like, like I'm down in the gardens or something. Oh, have to you have to breathe with your mouth open. Weird. Okay. Now for the taste gems. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now, little uh, interesting fact. When I was going over this, there is another wine. Not this one. This one is very good. We'll be talking about the taste. It's called Barola. And it's brought to my attention that certain wines are grown based off of direction. So, for example, Barola wine, it uh, grows facing south. And uh, it's known for this very, like, bold, proud, like, strong flavor. And what's cool about that is uh, the fact that they even think that growing in uh, south even matters. So you have it in the crumbling crop growing south on the top of the hill. Taste testing. It's pretty nice. Come up here. There he is. What do you think? So 70% um, Ganesh is obviously the most prominent in here, but I don't know if I could tell the taste of the other two, and that's just me. Uh, I hope you like today's Wine Wednesdays. A little bit different. Uh, I'm changing the location. I might uh, figure out a better stand. I don't, I'm working on lighting. Uh, there's a lot of things. I only have one light in my room, so I'm doing all these videos with natural light. I think natural light's super cool. Uh, also working with my cat to uh, not interfere as much. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm getting to those other comments. Uh, I haven't had time to because I, when I when I see a comment from someone, I want to do it right. So I, I sort of uh, I'm not saying like I'm postponing it, but I am. I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I have the time to research, to do it right, to. 
to have some sort of more plan because these are almost like a more ad lib kind of first reaction thoughts on this one based off of the quick information I can get up and like a and, and like going to my local wine shop. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like always, it's your boy Lou, and we're out.